Hi my crafty crew, today I am back with another 12x12 layout. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. I produce a whole series of different scrapbooking and memory keeping videos here on my channel. Now today I am documenting this beautiful and breathtaking photo of my mum on my wedding day. It's one of the most beautiful photos I have on my wedding day. I absolutely adore this one. And just to add a little bit of definition and some texture to the background, I'm using two different items. So the first one is some hessium and the second one you can see just on screen is some lace. Now funnily enough these two items are actually from my wedding day which just makes this overall layout a little bit more personal and adds that really really nice touch. Because these layers are quite textured, I end up adding some wet glue to the back just to make sure that it sticks. Like the majority of the time, I do decide when I've stuck something down that I actually want to do something into the background. So if you're new to my channel, then uh, <laughs> welcome to the chaos. But I end up just wanting to add something a little bit different into the background. It's a gorgeous blue and white texture floral and I just wanted to add something just to define and add a little bit more kind of detail to the background bearing in mind it's so soft. So I ended up going with some modelling paste with this cross or plus sign design. If you end up using any modelling paste, then please make sure you end up cleaning your stencils and your utensils. That's a difficult thing to say. <laughs> um, definitely clean them properly because if you don't, then they will remain damaged. So please be aware of that. I wanted to keep this layout quite soft and delicate so the only thing I've ended up doing with this is adding some tiny little words which say Instagrammable, I think that's what it says, um, in my black stays on font in the top left and bottom right of my photo. I had these really really lovely wooden alphas and I love them and I hate them at the same time. They're really really nice but I was never really too sure what I could do with them and I'm worried about kind of the look that they have on the pages mainly because they're so bright. So I do in fact end up calming that lovely down at some point and to do that I just end up adding some paint over the top. I end up having quite a lot of chipboard that I end up keeping in my stash which you can see in this little stash here. I have found quite a few florals and this old kind of frame and some other bits and pieces. In the end I decide not to, mainly because it ended up being just a little bit too much to the background and too many layers bulking up my photo. Keeping with the chipboard theme, I decide to go through some of them that I have taken out of the 12x12 containers. I end up going with one of the Instagram pictures and it, because it's got a kind of teal and blue theme, I thought that worked really, really nicely. And I also go with this typewriter, mainly because of the saying that's on there. I thought it was really, really cute and it kind of represents how I feel about my mum. So that was really nice. And just to emphasise some of that pink that's also in my mum's blouse, I wanted to end up adding some to the top left hand side of this paper. Just so that your eye doesn't just naturally go to the photo, there's kind of a direction and some other interest on the page. As you can see, I'm really, really trying to make the lovely work. So I end up doing my lovely mum which I spell out using some of these gorgeous alphas. I've run out of so many letters now I'm getting quite depressed over it so I need to definitely go and get some more 
But to add a little bit of sparkle here, there and everywhere and to add some of that darker blue in my mum's blouse, I wanted to add some sequins. Now I replaced sequins with enamel dots mainly because of the price of enamel dots recently. I don't know whether it's just me but all of a sudden they seem to have rocketed in price. So I end up adding just a tiny bit of glitz here, there and everywhere with some sequins. And to finish off the layout, I end up using my tiny word stickers, which are a godsend. But guys, whilst I end up sticking the last of those little gold hearts, my layout is complete. I really do hope you have enjoyed this one and I hope that you are enjoying my wedding album scrapbooking videos. If you are and you have enjoyed this one, please don't forget to like this video. And if you're interested in seeing more of my overall videos and my wedding album in general then please consider subscribing and don't forget to check out my recent playlist which will be previewing at the end of this video but I really hope you have a beautiful weekend and enjoy and have a lovely week next week and I will see you guys very very soon take care bye